Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. I'm glad to be back. I'm on break right now for the holidays and I'm gonna be putting out a few videos in the upcoming days. I hope I do. I'm, I'm gonna try really hard to do, to do it because I promised you. Uh, but today I wanna to talk about Music Lab's newest update to Real Guitar. This is called Real Guitar Steel String and it comes bundled with another one called Real Guitar Classic which according to their website, this is their Real Guitar 4, but with a few updates, a few new features. So I want to start showing you the sounds and then I'm gonna talk about some features that I like and some things that I don't like. I'll try to be quick with this. I'm not gonna cover everything because there are so many features in this plugin and not everything is relevant to what I do. So in the Real Guitar Steel String plugin, we start off with Steel String in stereo mode and this is what it sounds like. Now that's not bad. It sounds really clean. Uh, it's very responsive to the touch which I love when I'm playing. So let's explore some features here. Now, one of the cool things they have is a seven string mode. So it adds, uh, adds an A to the bottom. And it retains that high end. Then it has baritone. This one sounds a lot thicker. Now another thing you have is 12 string and Nashville strum. These are new guitars. Real Guitar Classic has a 12 string, but I'll show you that later. It's a little different. So let's hear those 12 strings. Now this has 14 because when we put it in seven string mode, it adds those two extra strings. String B, 12 string B. Pretty nice. Nashville strum. So Nashville strum, or the strum guitars on here, have more of a bite to them, more of that pick sound. Nashville strum B is just a little bit thicker in the middle. Mono and double, let's hear that. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of these, but this has many articulations that can be accessed through key switching. One of them that I like to use is the slide legato. Although I don't like using it on key switch. I wish it was velocity sensitive. But you could change many parameters in here, like how many, like how far the slide can go, how many intervals. You have your harmonics, let's hear that. 
nice. Pull mute. Mute. And a list of other ones that I'm not gonna go through. Here you could pause it and look through all of these. So there are a lot of articulations. And many ways to access those through velocity. Well, they don't have all the velocity, they, they don't have all the articulations that you can access through velocity. And they have their humanized feature, which allows you to change the pick position, give it more resonance, have certain sounds come out randomly. I'm gonna be honest, I don't use this feature that much. Now, before I get into multi and song mode, I'm gonna let you listen to the classic guitar. Now, I said that this comes bundled, and not only do you have real guitar classic and real guitar steel string, within those you have other useful guitars. Now, here's the sound of the, here's the older sound of the uh, steel string. Now, if you've watched my other video of Real Guitar 4, you're gonna be familiar with this sound. Then you have your fingered, which is basically without pick. Nylon. I don't really like that one, to be honest. That one sounds a little better. Could use some reverb, some more reverb, and um, maybe some legato, but it already has that. Still string two. Now with some of these sounds, there's something cheap about it. Like these, the steel two picked, it sounds a little cheap. Um, some of their other sounds are better, so I'm not going to bag on this. All right, then they have their 12 string, which I want to compare to the other one in a bit. I am very sorry if that's very loud in your ears. So it has a decent dynamic range. It's not, it doesn't have too many layers. And then there's steel stereo, which is their higher sampled one, I guess. sounds pretty good. All right, let's go back to this one to listen to that 12 string. What is going on? This one sounds different from... Now, the good thing is that if you like one and hate the other, you could just use the other one. I mean, they, they all come bundled together, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, so that is solo mode. You could access all these different articulations um, in different ways using mod wheel, pitch bend, velocity, sustain pedal, key switching. There are a lot of ways. It's very customizable, um, and, it's, and it's actually very intuitive when you um, when you try out the plugin, just start messing with it and you'll see how, how easy it is and how logical it is, which I love very much. All right, now let's go into 
Oh, I was already in it. Let's go into um, Real Guitar Still in the multi mode. Now here is where the strumming really sounds a lot better because you get the natural positions of certain chords. Um, I'm not gonna get into the detail of this, but um, in its default mode, if you play a chord, it's gonna give that chord to you in its natural position. So on the right hand, I'm playing the chord. And then over here in this gray area on the keys, which is, um, I'm gonna be playing C1, or C sharp one and D sharp one. I have my muted strum. Now if I play C, or if I play any of these right here, I'm gonna get a repeated strum. Well, if I'm playing the chord. These are also muted, by the way, if you let go of the chord. Now this takes some practice to get it sounding naturally, which I feel like I don't have it down as well as, uh, as, well as their last version. All right, let's hear it with the Nashville strum. Here's some more pick. And you can change the position of the chords. Like if this sounds too low for you, this E, you can click on the second position and make it a higher E. Some of those I think sound better in position one. I'm trying to turn on the palm mute for um, or lower velocity. Let's see. I have to be missing something because this is not working. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with user error right here because usually this works. Um, but since this is a newer plugin, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. Uh, hopefully that's not a bug. Okay, so another cool thing is that if you're if you're primary if you like playing chords with your left hand, you could use the right side 
for those sounds, the muted sounds and the, the uh, extra strum. You could have this silent, meaning that it's only going to strum when you... So it's not going to strum when you play the chord, but it will strum when you strum on the strum keys. I hate saying words over and over. Here you go. All right. That's all I'm going to say for for uh, multi mode. Now I'm going to go into the other one, guitar classic. Let's hear how it sounds with the strum on those. Now it sounds pretty good. Now here I want to talk about song mode, which is, to me is a big disappointment. The idea is to create a song in here, choose the chords and the patterns and drag them in here, and then drag the MIDI data into your DAW through here, which is a common feature in other, um, other plugins. Now I'm going to show you how this works. Right here in this window we have our pattern. Now you can choose the pattern through this library and it has a whole slew of patterns that might fit your needs. For example, we have basic 4-4. I can drag that into here in my song and in the first measure it's going to play this. Okay, maybe I want to, oops, I want to play some more of that same pattern. The amazing thing, I love this and I wish every, every plugin I had had this, um, this setup right here where you double click on the chord or actually you click on it once. And you have this, this wheel of chords, basically. Um, you can turn it into, let's say I want A minor, and it's gonna audition that for you. And I wanna turn it into A minor seven with a flat five. And then click out of it, and there you have it. I mean, now that doesn't sound good, but you can do it. And if I want a chord right here, let's see, C major, C major seven. All right, that, to me, that's very useful. It's very easy to do. Well, here's where I don't like it. Now let's say we have our song pattern right here that we've chosen. And then we drag it into our DAW. Bam, that's great, right? Now you have to click this track button to disable this part. Oops, that's not what I want. Here you go. And it grays it out. Now at this point, you can play it in your song on your DAW. Now, I would expect that if you copy this and pasted it or looped it even, that it would repeat. <music> but 
but it just repeats that chord. Now something might have, must have gotten fixed. Um, let's copy and paste. So this should be our A minor right here, or A minor flat five, A minor flat five seven. Let's skip ahead. So it doesn't repeat it, and I don't like that. Um, yeah, I, I I hope that's a bug that they can fix. Um, the second complaint I have is the fact that you can't really build any realistic patterns in here. Let me show you. All right, so let's get out of this menu and I'm going to create a strum here, insert strum. Now I can choose my chord and everything, which is fine. But it only gives me the option to insert a strum or a slow strum. There is no mute, there is no rest. Um, I mean, there is no muted strum, there is no um, palm mute, anything like that. The only place that you can access that is in the or the presets here. And I've checked the manual, I can't find it anywhere. And I think that is a major, major flaw. Um, so I, I hope that in the next update they can add that. All right, let's get out of that. So I don't even use song mode on here, to be honest. Now the other things, they, they, they sound pretty good to me. Um, some sounds I like by themselves others they sound better in a mix with a with a band um because they're they're not really detailed they're not as detailed as other plugins but it still sounds good in the mix oops let's go to um solo mode Well, friends, I hope that this review was informative, that it helped you make a decision on whether you want to purchase this plugin. I'm going to, um, I'm going to summarize it basically, that this is an improvement in sound over the last one. It sounds a little bit more detailed, a little bit more natural. Um, I like the fact that the, that includes so many different sounds like the older steel guitars, the nylon, the older 12 string, and then the new, new 12 string and steel string and the Nashville strum, which actually does sound really good um, when you're strumming it by hand in chord mode with a band. Oops, um, let me see. That takes some getting used to. I don't like the song mode. I think it's very limited and they need to add the ability to insert articulations like you can do in Ample Sounds of Guitars or in Orange Tree Samples Songwriter, which I'm gonna review too. But um, I think some of the sounds are a little too sterile, um, not very organic sounding. Like the, uh, the 12 string, the older 12 string, um, doesn't have too much dimension to it. But I do love the fact that you can customize so many things on this plugin and make it truly fit the way that you like to work. So that's my review. I hope that you like this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Share this video, comment below. Um, let me know what you think. All right, friends. Thanks for watching.